coffee with Ben. Call, call, coffee with Ben. So just some logistics. You should be able to see me. I can't see you. You should be able to hear me. I can't hear you. If you wanted to ask questions um, and you are registered for the webinar through a Zoom uh, account, then you can chat. You have a chat feature on your side. We can talk to each other. Uh, ask, feel free to ask questions. And um, this is a, a Coffee with Ben <laughs> webinar. It's an informal coaching session. I like to get together with inspectors, um, even on a, a holiday, a Labor Day. No one better than home inspectors to hang out with. Hey, John, how are you? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk business. Um, and we're going to talk about home inspections. So I've got my coffee in my InterNACHI mug. Coffee tastes better in an InterNACHI mug. So grab your hot coffee. Join this informal coaching session with me, Ben Gramico from InterNACHI and other home inspectors as we talk about business, marketing, and making money. And we can have a conversation about anything you want. Growth, success, more inspections, higher profits, how to scale, how to have more freedom. So this coffee talk is open to everyone. It's free, live, online. And we do it often, actually. We have webinars at natchiorg slash webinars. Like the banner behind me says, Go to internetchi webinars, natchi.org slash webinars. All of our webinars are video recorded so you can watch later. So register, and then you get a link to the video recording to watch later if you'd like. Hey, Mario. Hey, Eric from Kentucky. Awesome. David Van Verst, how are you in Georgia? There's a Q&A feature as well, fellas and ladies. Walter, how are you? Um, and so you can ask questions if you wanted to. And uh, I'll try to attend to them. So thanks for joining. Grab your coffee. Let's talk about business, home inspection business. And I'm glad you're not like this fella <laughs> and wasting your time. So the best thing you can do in business is to realize that time is precious. And you only have so much of it to invest. You only have so much money, you have so many resources, you only have so much time. And this fellow here, I love it if my competition is just like him. So excited to lay on a couch on a Monday morning and spend a few hours on Instagram or Facebook. That is fantastic for my competitors. I want my competitors just like this fella. But you all are not like this, right? We're all here investing some precious time trying to be better, trying to be more successful. So the, a, a, a tip for being successful in business is you grab a hammer. My, and my brother, Nick Romico, founder of InterNACHI, this is his idea. Grab a hammer and smash your TV and delete all of your social media apps. Because this fella here, if you ask him, hey, what'd you do? Uh, did you work on your business? No, I don't have any time. If you think about it, like if you have one hour, one hour in the evening to dedicate on your business, maybe you're starting a business or you already have a business and you want to make it grow and be better and you dedicate one hour after dinner just before you go to bed, that's one hour, five days a week, that's five hours a week, that's... uh. 20 hours a month, that's a half a week a month, right? 20 hours, a 40 hour work week, let's say, on a regular nine to five kind of job. When you're in business, you work 10, 12 hour job. But let's a half hour for every month, that's six, is that right? Six, um, half a week for every month. So it's six weeks at the end of the year. Isn't my math correct? So if you dedicate just one hour a night for an entire year, five days a week, not seven, five days a week, you'll be ahead of your competition like this fella 
by six weeks without even hiring another person. You'll have six weeks, is essentially another person working for you, right? Your mini you, your clone who invested that one hour. And at the end of the year, you'll be ahead six weeks. That's a month and a half, a one month and a half, you'll be ahead of your competition. Now, what can you do for a month and a half dedicated on your business? Oh, you do a lot. So don't fall trapped to the comfortable couch, right? And the key to success is managing your time really well and delegating. You can't do everything on your own. You're going to have to in the beginning, right? In the very beginning, you're everybody. You're the inspector, you're the marketing, you're the taxes, you're the uh, social media, you're, you're paying the bills, you're everything. But leverage InterNACHI and delegate down tasks to InterNACHI. InterNACHI has systems and processes in place. And that's what you want to do. You want to have a membership in InterNACHI and take full advantage of all the resources that InterNACHI provides so that you can manage your time well and delegate down and utilize and leverage the resources, the systems, the processes that InterNACHI provides to its members for free because they're members. And we'll go over a few of those things, like the marketing team. So if you're not a member and you've never been a member before and you want to join InterNACHI at a discount, we have a, a code here. Go to nachi.org slash trial, T-R-I-A-L, nachi.org slash trial and enter the code webinar, one word webinar, and get a 50% disc off, discount off of your first year. Like I said, grab a cup of coffee. This is an informal coaching session. I have some ideas to go over with you. But if you wanted a formal course on home inspection, business, and marketing from a college, this is a college-level course from a college. It's a tuition-free online college. You can access it anytime you want. And it's through InterNACHI School. InterNACHI School at internachi.edu. Look for that edu. If it doesn't have EDU, it's an unaccredited school. Unaccredited, meaning that it's not accredited by national accrediting agency recognized by the U.S. Department of Education. Internet school is a college, like any college uh, in the nation. And to find the home inspection business course, a formal course that you can go to after we have fun at the Coffee with Ben webinar, you go to nachi.org slash education. I'll, I'll take you there. Nachi.org slash education. And you type in, you search for business. There's a search field there. And you search for business and it pops right up. Home inspection business course. And I like this course because you have access to the entire course Anytime you want, you can jump in, jump out. And I like chapter 11. Chapter 11 right here is about calculating profitable inspection fees. And there are two home inspectors, Inspector Mary and Inspector John, and they try to figure out how to calculate a profitable inspection fee. And it's not related upon their feelings. It's not related upon what they saw on Instagram. It's not related upon their competitors or their friendly competitors, websites, what they say. doesn't matter what the real estate agent says or even the market says. It's really about math. So we go over in chapter 11, the math that's required to calculate a profitable inspection fee. If you can't figure out how to calculate a profitable inspection fee, then you're not going to be in business for very long. And we don't want that. So. Go to the only home inspector college that's at internachi.edu. I wanted to share five tips for home inspectors because starting a new business and boosting an existing business can be challenging and staying motivated is crucial 
to the success of your business. So here are five tips for small business owners, home inspectors, to stay motivated and succeed in their journey as an inspection business owner and operator, including marketing leadership strategies. We're going to go over those five. And really, you have to change the way you think about who you are. Man, when I changed my perspective from being, I wanted to be the greatest home inspector to being a successful business owner, everything changes. You don't want to get just caught up in trying to be the best inspector and forget about business and marketing. You want to be able to do both. You have to do both in order to succeed in any business. So there's that thing when people talk about like working in your business or on your business, you want to be working on your business, right? And in the beginning, again, you're everything. You're the inspector, you're the marketer, social media, you're trying to get a website, you're doing the emails, you're writing the inspection reports, you're driving, paying the bills, you're everything. But eventually you want to be able to Think of yourself as a business owner, an owner of a business that just so happens to do inspections. That's where you want to be. So take that home inspection business and marketing course at the only home inspector college. Here are the five tips for inspectors. One, set clear goals in a vision. We're going to go over that. Step two, stay informed and adapt. Three, build a strong support network. Four, have effective marketing strategies. Five, leadership and self-care. So step one, tip one, set clear goals and a vision. So you got to define your long-term and short-term goals. What do you want to achieve in your business? Having a clear vision and objectives will give you a sense of purpose and motivation. You got to write it down. When I was a home inspector and just starting off, Man, I did my first home inspection. I, I still remember making 300 bucks on a Saturday morning in three hours in cash. That was incredible. That was a lot of fun. That was one of my goals. That was one of my short-term goals, to have enough money to go to Whole Foods. <laughs> so write down your goals. Actually, literally write, write them down. And if you have a spouse, partner, be like-minded with them. Make sure you are sharing and thinking of the same things, have the same vision, have the same goals. So when you wake up on a September 4th, Labor Day holiday, and everyone is sleeping in like that fellow that we saw before, and you're working on your business because you have a goal in mind and you want to break down your goals or goal into smaller, manageable tasks and steps. Do one step a day. And this will make your journey feel less overwhelming and help you stay focused. So to reach a goal, what you got to do is first assess where you are. You got to know where you're beginning. You got to know your starting point. Assess where you are. What, where are you? Are you just joining InterNACHI? Are you brand new, green? You've never done an inspection? InterNACHI has the step-by-step -step resources that you need in order to gain that confidence to perform your first inspection for your first client. If you are a successful business owner, but compared to last year, things are way down, we have the resources you need in order to boost and revamp your business. If you are a successful home inspector and you want to stop doing so many inspections on your own, one of the best ways to increase gross revenue for your business is hire, hire an inspector. Let that inspector do your dirty work and you do the things that a business owner is supposed to be doing. The big overall reaching goals, vision, strategies, marketing, oversight, management, time management, things like that. And InterNACHI -E has those training resources for those people as well. InterNACHI -E has everything you need to be a successful home inspector. And it doesn't matter where you are or what starting point you are, you're at but it's up to you to set that goal and then we'll give you the steps. So I wanna give you an example of the steps. Here are 15 steps. Let me bring my 
slide over. Hope you can see all these things. Let me just take a moment to look at the chat. Make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. Yep. Okay. Looking good. Go to natchi.org slash everything. If you've got a pencil, paper, old school, I, I do, um, <laughs> take some digital notes or something, type this down. These URLs are important. Natchi.org, N-A-C-H-I dot org slash everything. Go to natchi.org slash everything. I don't care where you are in your business. Starting, having some trouble, wanting to double your revenue, natchi.org slash everything. If you're new, you got to do the first five steps. First five steps will take you from zero to 60, from zero to 60 real fast. And then at, after step five, you'll be able to start making money. At that point, you're ready to do a Saturday morning $300 job. If you're existing business, then it's the other steps about developing and growing your business and boosting and overwhelming your clients with value. We give you those resources as well. Again, to reach a goal, it's really, it's a great idea to break a goal down into smaller, manageable tasks and steps. And InterNet has it for you. Tip two, stay informed and adapt. Continuously educate yourself about your inspection industry, the marketing trends, what's new, what's going on, and new technologies like my drone there, my infrared camera over there in my, in my tool bag. Staying informed will keep you competitive and excited about your business. Are you subscribed to internet -y newsletters? No. What? Or maybe you are subscribed, but you don't open them because uh, you don't have any time. Yeah, you do. I bet if you're on the couch on social media, I bet you got an, an extra hour, just like that fella that we saw earlier, right? If you want to know what's new in the industry, subscribe to internet -y newsletters. Look around for a local chapter. Internet has chapters all over the world. In Texas, we have a dozen chapters. I think in North Carolina, we have four or five. In Florida, we have a ton. Okay. Mentors. We have a mentoring program. These are certified master inspectors who agree to volunteer their time to help other inspectors. We have a mentoring program. InterNACHI's online community. There's tens of thousands of people online, all in one place. That's on our online forum, natchiorg slash forum. Well, where are the other certified inspectors? If they're not online or in a chapter, where are they? They're available by finding them through InterNACHI's website. And you can find all of the inspectors within a five mile radius of any zip code in the United States, any postal code in Canada. That's through InterNACHI. Find another certified home inspector. Ask him or her for uh, some advice, guidance. Can I have some coffee? Can I buy you a coffee? Can I carry your tools for the afternoon? How is business? How are you doing? Rub shoulders, rub elbows, shoulders, something like that, with other certified inspectors. InterNACHI has 30,000 inspectors in the United States. Be friends with them. Get with like-minded people. Go to InterNACHI events. We have chapter events. We have events at the InterNACHI House of Horrors. We have national events, regional events. Social media, get on social media. Don't waste your time there, but get in and stay focused. Find something interesting and valuable and take it. Steal from social media channels, information that is valuable to you personally, but really we're talking about business. Internet -y webinars. This is a great way to stay informed and adapt and grow. 
Take Continuing Education from the Only Home Inspector College at internet.edu. Continuously learn. Always be learning. If you don't have a job scheduled today, learn something new. I tell my girls I'm a father of three. Three children, three girls. They're in college. The best thing you can do in life is to learn something new. The worst thing you can do in life is waste your time. Leverage InterNACHI resources to manage your time and use it effectively and wisely. And invest time to learn something new and to stay informed. There are 28 people who work at InterNACHI and we all work for you. When was the last time you contacted us and asked us, what can you do for my business? Be willing to adapt to changes. The business world is dynamic and being flexible can help you overcome challenges and seize opportunities. Have you spoken to your entire neighborhood and told every homeowner or occupant that you are the local home inspector? And when a weather event comes through, like we had in Florida, in the Southern states, you're the person with the infrared camera and moisture meter, and you can help out figure out what is going on, what needs to be repaired before the contractor comes. Get a third party neutral opinion by a professional. I did that two weeks ago for my, my neighbor. She has a wet basement, a damp wet basement, and we figured it out. We put things together. It was part of her chimney and the landscaping grounds. Every neighbor should know who you are. You should be hooked up with InterNACHI's inspection leads. InterNACHI has this huge presence on the internet and we capture potential clients and send them to your InterNACHI profile website. So you have to have a website. You have to enter that website address in your InterNACHI profile so that we can send you leads and they're free. Use inspectorseek.com to search for your business. Make sure you have your name, phone number, email, website. Tip three, build a strong support network. Surround yourself with mentors, advisors, and like-minded entrepreneurs who can provide guidance and support. Their experiences can help you navigate the complexities of business ownership. So you've got the newsletters, the chapters, the mentors, the online community, the certified inspectors, the events, the social media, the webinars, the contact us. Surround, you are not alone. You have a ton of resources available to you. Connect with your target audience and customers through social media and network events. Careful about social media. I like to post and ghost. I like to post some valuable information and get the heck out. Building relationships in this way can lead to valuable partnerships and collaboration. Are you engaged with local real estate agents using LinkedIn? Don't just sell yourself. Don't go on LinkedIn and say, hey, I'm a home inspector. Would you please uh, use me? You know, you want to join the conversation. You can search for successful real estate agents, high ranking, mid ranking. Um, low performing, high per mid performing using realtor.com or Zillow. Here's a little filter in the search and connect with them. Where are the real estate agents? They're listed. If you get jobs from real estate agents. And what should you say on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram? Well, that's easy. You're doing a home inspection, right? Well, Take a picture or a video of you performing an inspection and comment on the observation. It could be a defect or not. This is the proper way that the I don't know, kick, kickoff flashing is installed. This is a good kickoff flashing, you know? No longer than a minute. Get your face in there. You have so much, and it's unique. You know, the internet, the algorithms for searches of, content and things like they love original content and there's nothing more robust interesting and original than the comments and observations made by a home inspector 
on a home that they are inspecting. And the value of that information has got to bubble up and connect with people who are interested in, in learning how their home works, learning how to maintain their home, maybe saving home energy, making sure that the home stays healthy, that it's safe. That's what we all want. We all want to be in a home that's functioning, safe, and healthy. So you have this unique opportunity to educate people on those critical things that we all have in common about our homes. If you're going to engage in conversation with a real estate agent or another inspector, your neighbor, live, online, or offline later for an email, make sure you show your passion for your profession and you add value to the conversation. Show how interested and how interested you are in being a home inspector and in running a business that provides valuable inspection services and add value. Add value meaning, well, tell somebody something that you thought of or saw and you want to share it because you think it's interesting. That's a value, right? I just saw a, a video of an inspector and she was sharing her observations of the flashing around the window just to make sure that that metal flashing is kicking out, diverting out water from around the window frame. That's awesome. I already know about it, but I just thought it was neat. Maybe not a lot of people think about it, right? And now we're having these storms and high winds with the hurricane that just went through in the Southeast. It's interesting and valuable to know how to keep water out of a house, right? Okay, you're in a great place to provide valuable information and build a strong network with other inspectors, homeowners, real estate agents. Tip four, effective marketing strategies. Develop a comprehensive marketing plan tailored to your target audience. Utilize online and offline marketing channels. Offline marketing channel, that's face-to-face -face neighbors, right? Online is, well, social media that we just talked about or email or having a website. And this, these marketing channels include social media, content marketing like a blog, email marketing like a newsletter, a home inspector maintenance newsletter, and search engine optimization. That means you are optimized to be found on the internet because your website has SEO. InterNACHI's marketing team can help you with the marketing. That is one thing you do not want to do by yourself, marketing. As a business owner, you can start off with some ideas about marketing, but you really have to find a team of people who are dedicated to helping home inspectors succeed with their marketing, their print marketing, their online marketing, their marketing design, their website design. And that's InterNACHI's marketing team. Natchi.org slash marketing, natchi.org slash marketing. Just take a look at their recent work. It's amazing work. And all of their design work, all of their design work, they just design stuff that looks beautiful and professional. All of their design work is free. All you do is place an order. So if you wanted to start off with a free designed logo and a freely designed business card, order a box of business cards. You know you're going to need some business cards, order a box of business cards are cheap, affordable. And they do all the design work for free. And then they get online with you and they figure out what color do you like? They design a logo. What services do you have? What kind of branding or what value do you, do you provide or what distinguishes you from all the rest? And they incorporate all that stuff. They consult with you and they illustrate it and design it and print it out for you. Internet, has a website builder. We've partnered up with InterNACHI's official vendor for inspector websites. 
And that's at nachi.org. I'll go there now. Go there now. Nachi.org slash website. Nachi.org slash website. Get a custom, modern, built home inspector website for your home inspection business. They also do mold and commercial and they do websites for CCPIA inspectors, certified master inspectors, but they work exclusively for InterNACHI members only, no one else. And they have partnered to provide, partnered with InterNACHI to provide a low price of $299. That's a one-time design fee. And $16 a month, or maybe 20 or 27, depending on what features you want per month. That's it. 299, one, one fee to design the entire website. And then you need to host that website. And that's a hosting fee. You don't even pay them. You pay Wix. Ever hear of Wix? Wix.com. If you don't have a website, build one right now for free at Wix. Wix.com. Wix.com. Build a free website. If you want it to look good, you'll have to pay a hosting fee, right? With a nice domain name or URL address. That's the $16 a month or $20 or $27 a month that you pay Wix. Go ahead, design it. Design it yourself. I want you to have a website. But if you don't have time, if you think your time is precious, right? We went over this already. If you want to manage your time well and delegate tasks down to someone like the InterNACHI -E marketing team, or InterNACHI's website design company. Then you hire them to do it. And it's totally affordable. And it has SEO. Have you seen my website? Now that I'm on this, here's my website, bigbeninspections.com, bigbeninspections.com. And you know what's cool about my website? Oh, I'll show it to you later. I'll show you the analytics later. Well, I could, I could show you right now, but you want to monitor the performance of your marketing. If you're going to spend any money on marketing, don't hire anybody to do SEO. It, it comes with InterNACHI's website design, Inspector Website Builder. Just Google right now, Inspector Website Builder, because you want somebody to build your website. And this is the builder for Inspector Websites, Inspector Website Builder. It comes with SEO. Don't pay anybody to do your SEO. What is the SEO? They'll, they'll say something like, oh yeah, we include SEO. Well, what is it? Oh, uh, it's, you know, it's very complicated. I'm not sure if I can explain it to you right now. You know, Inspector Website Builder has actually a checklist of all of the SEO tasks. There's like a hundred of them. And you get to make sure that they're all done. They check them off in green. This is the checklist. They tell you exactly what they're doing. It isn't some mystery. It isn't, myst it isn't a mystery. You know why it's a mystery? So it's a mystery when people are trying to charge you a lot of money for SEO, right? They can, oh, it's so complicated, but I'll, I'll get you SEO. No, it isn't complicated. And that's why I like Inspector Website Builder. They tell you exactly what they're doing. They build it and they tell you exactly what the SEO tasks are. And they'll show you if they did it or not. And you want all the, you can check it, make sure everything is green. So don't pay anybody for SEO and don't pay anybody to manage your website either. There is nothing to manage. Once you build a website with SEO, there is nothing to do. There is nothing to do. There is no management fee. Don't manage. What are you managing? It's built. It's just, and it's running all the time. Think of a website as an employee that you pay a monthly fee to convert website visitors into clients. That's all you, it does. Now, if you change something on your website, you want to contact your website builder, inspector website builder, and they'll do an edit for you free. That's about it. Maybe the SEO changes or something, if it's a significant change. You have to describe the service differently. Okay. Or maybe you move your address. Oh yeah. Change your phone number. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's important, but there's nothing to manage. Don't pay for SEO. Don't pay for management. Don't pay anything more than 300 bucks unless it's a special 
special deal from Inspector Website Builder. They got the five ninety nine to eight ninety nine or whatever. But start off with two ninety nine. If you're paying more than two ninety nine for a website, well, compare the benefits. Go right down the line. I would say go to the homepage of each company and compare line by line what you get for your money. And then I want to show you. I was just looking just before we got on. I was looking at the analytics of my Big Ben Inspector website, right? So here's Big Ben Inspector website. I'm in Wix. They, they set me up with a Wix account. They build my website. Inspector Website Builder builds my website in Wix and they give me an account and I take a look at the analytics and this is the last, let's go last 365 days, right? And, you know, I don't do home inspections for paying clients. This is just for fun, right? But I can see, oh, like in February, I was doing really well, a lot of, a lot of hits and all that stuff, right? Where are they all coming from? The United States. Oh, okay. And where are they coming from? Oh, a lot of them are coming from Google. Real time, if you go there right now, go there right now, bigbeninspections.com. Can you do that for me? Bigbeninspections.com. And we can see live visitors visiting my website. And it'll ping. It'll go ping, 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 ping. Right? I've got one. Oh, there we go. Got one on my homepage. Got two. Got two on my homepage. Got three. Got three on my homepage. Right? United States. Good. Go to bigbeninspections.com and I can view where you're going. So if I send out an email marketing campaign, right, I can just watch to see where everybody goes. Oh, they're going to my homepage. And then someone went to uh, my services and fees. Someone directly found me because they typed in bigbeninspections.com and went to my website. And somebody uh, did a search on Google. And 40% of you are using desktops, 40% of you are using mobile. And here's a session with uh, a visitor, number 3141. You've been browsing for 32 seconds and you're in the United States and you're visiting my homepage and using a tablet. And I can chat with you right now. Shall I? Amazing. I can chat with the, I'm gonna, I have no idea who you are. Hello, it's Ben. Okay, so the other person, I don't know who you are, but you've been on my homepage for 54 seconds and you're from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And there's they're chatting with me. <laughs> Guess what I can do? I can do this on my desktop or I can do it on my phone, right? So I have Inspector Website Builder. They give me an app when they, that's my wife on my phone. They give me an app that allows me to chat with anybody who is visiting my website, either on my phone or on my, hi, it's Daryl. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't mean to drag <laughs> you. I can't type you into this. If you can't type um, <laughs> uh, on your phone, you can just talk and chat. What would you say when you have someone landing on your website and you can chat with them? What, what's the number one goal? Remember, you have to have a goal. What's the number one goal when someone lands on your website designed by InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs, inspector website builder. What's the one thing, what is your goal when you are chatting with the person visiting your website? Their phone number. You want them to chat with you back and forth. Email is great, but you want to you want to tell them, hey, uh, I'm on the roof right now. Can I call you in a bit? What's your number, right? Daryl, don't give me your number. Don't, because we're live here. Let me go back and let me get out. Okay. That's your goal. You want that, you want Daryl's phone number. You want that phone number of that potential client who just happened to visit your website. Do you know anybody who does that? I mean, this is why I like Inspector Website Builder. They give you the analytics, they give you SEO, free edits and updates. They don't charge you management. And you get to talk to everybody who lands on your website. You want to monitor the performance of your marketing efforts. That's what that means. This coaching session is specific 
These aren't just words. You want to monitor the performance of your marketing efforts and adjust your strategies accordingly. That's what exactly we just did. I asked you to visit my website and I monitored the performance of that marketing strategy and I adjusted my strategy accordingly. I got off of whatever I was currently doing and I focused my attention on this potential client with a goal in mind of converting that client into a scheduled client by getting their phone number and engaging in conversation. What do I do when I'm engaged in conversation? I show my passion for being an inspector and I add value. And my whole goal with Daryl or who, anybody who is landing on my website and I'm chatting with them, my whole goal is to overwhelm them with value because they're going to compare that with the cost. What is the cost of getting this information from Big Ben Inspections? $299, $300, $400 or something for a home inspection? And if you could overwhelm that client with value, that's your goal. If the value that you provide to your client is overwhelming in comparison to the cost, then that is a good decision. That is a great strategy. That is a great marketing strategy. That is the whole goal of your business. So overwhelm clients with value and have it very low cost to get that information. You know, data-driven decisions. That's data, man. Analytics. I have analytics. I know exactly where everyone is coming from when they visit my website and I know where they're going. Oh, let me show you one more thing. This is so cool. I'm a little bit on the, on the website thing. I love it, right? So let's show, let me show you the, um, let's see, analytics. I'm gonna go to analytics. Uh, we did the real time already. Let's go to behavior overview. Okay, so this is behavior over. Where do people go when they land on my website? They go to my homepage and they also go to services and fees. That's fantastic. So they land on my webpage. And they're like, oh, home inspector. What, how much do they cost? What do they do? How much does it cost? They also go to my qualifications. Not so much my sample report or my blog or anything like that. And where do they go after services and fees? They go to my qualifications. So they figure out, okay, he does home inspections. It's $500. Why are they qualified? Why is he qualified? And he goes to qualified, right? So this is pretty cool. You know, my bounce rate is going down. My average pages per session is going up. That's pretty cool. I like it. I know exactly how people behave when they land on my website. If they land on your homepage and leave, that's called a bounce. And in your, if your bounce rate is really high, you want to be told that by your website design company, or you just want to monitor it. You log in like I am. I'm checking it out. Yeah, it's not, not bad. I'm not even a home inspector, really, for clients, and I'm not even marketing. This is just an example. You would have a very, you should have a very low bounce rate. If people are landing on your homepage and leaving, there's something wrong with the homepage, the top part. Maybe you need a, a better hero picture. Don't put any fancy homes but don't put any really expensive, modern, fancy homes on your homepage, right? That's not what they're looking for. They're looking for you. You put you on your homepage above the fold, a hero picture standing there, right? Okay, on and on about that. I love marketing strategies, especially um, website designs because my family owns Inspector Website Builder. So I know you're gonna get a really great website and very good service. People ask, how do I get on page one? That's not your goal. Stop it. Is that your goal? I want to get on page one. Okay. You get on page one, people look at your website and they leave and they bounce right off because it stinks, right? That's not your goal. What is your goal? To get on page one? That's not your goal. Your goal is to make money. Your goal is to make stacks of cash. And getting on page one has hardly anything to do with that. 
I don't know where this, you know who emphasizes getting on page one? People trying to sell you services to get on page one. Okay, that is not your goal. Your goal is to make stacks of cash. Your goal is to be a business owner and a successful one at that. And we have the resources and strategies so that you can be successful. Okay, get your goals just right. Tip five, leadership and self-care. Lead by example and set a positive tone for your team. Even if you're a team of one in the beginning. Be inspiring and a supportive leader who empowers employees and other inspectors to succeed. What? Not like this guy. This guy is not a leader. He is not inspiring. He is not going to succeed. This guy does not put on his work shoes in the morning. That's what you should do. If you don't have a job tomorrow, what should you do? Don't, if you haven't scheduled a job yet, I'll phrase it that way, what should you do? You go to work. Put on your shoes. Put on your work shirt, right? And you go to work. You have so much to do. Work on your marketing strategies. Learn something new. Log into your internet your profile. Connect with your website design company. On and talk to your neighbor. Go to an event. Pass out flyers. Organize your tools. Make sure everything is charged. Make sure your vehicle is clean. You just go to work. Go to work. Okay? That is leading by example. Take care of your physical and mental health as well. Burnout can be a significant motivation killer. Regular exercise. I just went for a six-mile bike ride with my wife yesterday. Adequate sleep. And time for relaxation are essential for staying motivated and maintaining peak performance. There's a YMCA two blocks away in my neighborhood. I just moved into a new place in my new neighborhood. And two blocks away, I found out there was a YMCA. Second day I was there, I joined. And I'm there five days a week in the morning. Well, I'm not the greatest in fit, but you know, you got to stay in shape. Take care of yourself. That's physical and mental and spiritual. And that's a good tip because you can burn out. So don't be alone. If you're alone, you're going to burn out real, real fast, right? So that's why I wanted to share. And we can take questions if you wanted to. I don't want to take a lot of your time. I've already chit-chatted for 50 minutes. That's too long. On and on and on. But the next webinar, the next Coffee with Ben or the next Tips webinar, I have different kinds of webinars. We're going to talk about what to do for your business when the market is slow. That's going to be our focus on the next webinar. So go to natchiorg slash webinars. And we're going to talk about what does an owner and operator of a home inspection business, what, is it, what do you do when the market around you is slow? We've got it. We've got the answer. It's going to be a really good one. And I think, you know what? I'm, a, I'm going to grab you all offline. I see you have texts going and questions going, and I'm going to see if I can grab you offline and uh, answer those questions and those comments by email. Email me. Can you email me those questions outstanding that I haven't gotten to? Email me, ben at internachi.org. I want to respect your time. I said I'd only go for 45 minutes, but we've gone over so please email me if you have a follow-up question or a comment or something outstanding you wanted to share with everybody or me, ask me a question, feel free to email me. Again, ben at internachi.org. And be sure to register for the next webinar. It's going to be a good one. Nachi.org slash webinars. All right. Bye, everybody. I'm Ben Gramico from Internachi. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next webinar. Bye, y'all. Thanks. With ben, coffee with Ben. Call, call, coffee with Ben.